Moving slowly in all the typical spots. And so we do have traffic just moving and inching along in some of these areas that are pretty moving along the 10 and 110 interchange through downtown LA also moving slowly here. But luckily we've not had any major we have some 40s out there. We have some 30s out there even and then temperatures overnight tonight too for some of the interior spots expected to get even chillier. So we do have to talk about uh, the potential for some freeze. And so I'll get to that in just a moment. We do have a batch of clouds that's out there for some spots. Now it's interesting. We have partly cloudy skies over hey, downtown son, LA out sure to toward, toward LAX and LAX is mostly sunny so it just depends where you are this morning not a whole lot of cloud coverage but it's definitely out there it's 46 degrees in downtown Los Angeles so grab the jackets as you're headed out the door it's going to be a cool mild afternoon as well and then as we take you up into Big Bear cold enough to keep a little bit of that snow still on the ground in the Big Bear area and the mountains are just chilly to start as well it's about 36 degrees over into Big Bear not a huge difference for some other spots from Big Bear into some of these inland spots that we've been seeing this morning where we're also in the 30s. So we do have the potential for some frost in some spots. If you are in the Santa Clarita Valley, you might see some of the grass this morning out toward Calabasas, Agora Hills, Westlake. Then tonight into tomorrow morning, we have the freeze watch in place, and that's where we could see some damage to some plants, so you're going to want to prepare. Before we get into tonight, into tomorrow morning, Antelope Valley out toward Ventura County Valleys as well. Aside from that, we have some winds to talk about too so a little blustery feeling for some spots as well all right another check on all this plus some rain possible in the future Les, i'll send it back to you for now oh that would be nice okay brianna thank you very much have some freeze watches overnight tonight into tomorrow morning so yes we have some chilly morning temperatures and some cool afternoons ahead but we'll get a little warmer in the coming days so i'll show you that in just a moment uh, but to get you out the door we are talking about some frost possible over in the areas of the santa clarita valley and then some other valleys uh, over near Westlake Village, Calabasas, Agora Hills as well. That's where we have the frost advisories in place so far. Then we get into tonight, into tomorrow morning, and freeze watches will be in place. So these are the areas you need to look out for to protect your crops. The Antelope Valley, I know we're used to that this time of year, and then over into Ventura County Valleys as well. Areas into Santa Paula, out toward uh, Ojai area as well, that we do have those temperatures getting down to below freezing overnight. So also make sure any animals that you might have to stay warm overnight, and those are protect some of those inland spots. So the interesting thing is this is a mixture of some very chilly temperatures and also some wind. We only get those very cold temperatures in the spots where they are wind sheltered. So the spots we won't be getting much wind and the air is still, those temperatures are going to be dropping. That was that sliver that you saw for the Antelope Valley and then out toward areas of Ventura. We do have wind advisories in place. It's still cold, so it's going to feel a little blustery. We have uh, winds out of the north or northeast, northwest as well. Kind of just depends where you are. 20 to 30 miles per hour, gusts up to 50. And so it's feeling even a little bit of a breeze this morning too. So make sure you're bundled up. We have a lot of 40s out there. We even have some 30s out toward the Inland Empire, out toward some of the northern valleys like Ojai. As we get into this week, we're going to be watching the Pacific Northwest. A low pressure system is going to head in, and that's going to tap into an atmospheric river. That's going to bring plenty of rain to northern California. Not for Southern California. However, we will still get some rain out of it, but that's going to dump a whole lot for areas north of us. And then we get into this weekend, and finally it starts to drop south and dissipate as it gets into Central and Southern California. Either way, we are expecting some rain here over the weekend. So sometime between Friday, Sunday, maybe even into Monday, that we are expecting some rainfall. So it's going to be a nice, cozy, warmer system. So we're not expecting a whole lot of snow. It's going to be more of a rainmaker. So we're just talking rain chances as we get into our seas. And then we're just going to drop those temperatures again once that's system moves in and we'll have better timing and details on all that rain as it gets a little closer. Less